Hey guys, today we're gonna check out the Obscura Altered Delay by Digitech. This is a real advanced delay, but let's just keep it light and give, give you some sounds to hear. This is my clean tone. A real cool thing with this pedal is that it has four different kind of delays. It has a analog, tape, lo-fi and reverse delay. Um, and it has a lot of knobs. Good God, it has a lot of knobs. It has a level, classic. Uh, it has repeats, the outer. The inner is time. Then we have uh, the selector for which mode we want to use. We have degrade, so that's how much chorus and stuff like that will be. Then we have tone. So you can hear the effect level, but then it's more like the effects level. That like now the now the delay is louder than my guitar. That they seem to amplify it as well. <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, let's try the different modes. This is the analog mode. This is a tape mode. Lo-fi. And reverse. <laughs> That's pretty unusable, unusable actually. I like the tape a lot. Let's just play with the degrade. So the degrade at nothing. So no modulation really. That's a pretty cool modulation when it has. You hear the chorusing, whoa, 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 like it's an old tape. And you can always take it too far. And all the way. Pretty cool. This pedal actually has a lot of secrets. Um, I'm not gonna go through everyone, but um, a simple one is the trails. 
this uh, switch here, it works like if I turn off the pedal, you just keep on going. So let's add some more repeats. Something really cool about this pedal is that you can actually do the tap. So you hold it down, start blinking. This pedal also in the tap feature has that, it, that you can choose the the notes, how many notes you want. So you see now it's blinking green, that means that it's eight notes. Yellow is dotted eights. And red is quarter notes. My conclusion is that this is a really cool pedal. Uh, it really emulates the tape. Really good. Uh, it has some flaws in my, in my eyes and ears. So the level, if you go like at, if you go at nine o'clock, you can barely hear it. So everything up to nine o'clock is unusable. From 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock is where you will find the delay. After that, it's just too much. And also, something that's super weird is that if you manually put the time in with the time knob, you, for the first, you can't get zero, you will only get a slapback. And if you do max, it's two second delay. So it's totally unusable. So that means that 12 o'clock is a one second delay. And that's pretty ambient. If you're a guy like me that wants to have a, like a 250 or a 500, you have to really mess around. Oh, the small. Oh, that was fast. I want slow. I want 500. I don't know. Oh, a little less. So you really have to use the tap to use it at full potential. Other than that, it's, it has really cool tones. Even though the reverse is pretty unusable. Um, Lo-fi, I don't even know what it does. It sounds, sounds like an EQ to me. But with that said, it's a really cool pedal. Uh, it got some really cool sounds. I only use it on mono, but with stereo effects, it's, I, I guess it probably sounds great. Um, so that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.